This billboard in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania has caused quite a stir. Are you guys prepared and are you ready for Flat Earth to go mainstream? Flat Earth family. Last Tuesday we had a billboard go live uh, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. This billboard says research Flat Earth. In fact it is still going on right now. I took a trip to Philadelphia because I live about two and a half hours away from Philadelphia. I live in Pennsylvania. Uh, it was about 147 miles. I took the trip because I wanted to see this billboard for myself, I wanted to document it, and I wanted to bring it back for everyone to see on YouTube and Facebook. Um, it inspired me, and I was pretty sure that documenting this would inspire many other people as well. I took the trip on Wednesday, which was June 7th, um, went after work, I had like a 10 hour work day and decided it was just completely worth it. I had enough time, I had energy, I wanted to get out there and see this for myself. And I was hoping that there would be more people there, but it just wasn't good timing. I didn't see any other Flat Earthers, um, and I did not see any media. But that's not to say that it did not happen. So anyway, um, full documentary of this trip is on my YouTube channel, and I will try to link that video to the end of this video as well. Um, what I want to talk to you guys about tonight is the fact that the reason why this billboard went up was because of the mass, massive amounts of exposure. Pe so many people are going to be seeing this. It's right off of I-76, which is Pennsylvania's turnpike. Um, I think the address is 1600 Warfield Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Um, I think it's within seven miles of the Philadelphia airport. It has excellent exposure, great visibility, and it's digital. It's an electric billboard so you can see it during the day and at night. Um, like I said, I will link the video to the end of this video in the description box um, of the documentation that I made. But anyway, this has caused quite a stir. Um, this has been organized by IPS, or better known as Infinite Plane Society, um, and also organized by the dailyplane.com. They have gotten together and they have helped with crowdfunding, they've gotten sponsorship and donations through uh, live chats, and many of us donated, and it's just, it's amazing, and I'm sorry to you out there that aren't participating and aren't able to see this grow and see this actually, uh, us actually accomplish this goal because there are so many naysayers out there. Well, we are raising money and we're making things happen and it's being organized by someone couple people that are very intelligent and I, I'm, I'm extremely happy with the way it's going. Anyway, um, this billboard has caused quite a stir and whether it's been on purpose or it's been on accident as far as someone just organically seeing the billboard, also many of us have been calling into the local media in Philadelphia and getting interviews and um, in IPS or Infinite Plain Society did get a few interviews. He was on um, the local media. I actually have a video on my YouTube channel about that as well. Um, he was on the local CBS Channel 3 news. And um, he also was uh, quoted, and they did a whole article on him and this billboard and this whole project. In, um, and it's called The Philly Voice. So what I would like to do tonight is I would like to just want to read the article because um, I find that um, I like to listen to these videos but I really enjoy ones that I can just literally just listen to I don't have to necessarily watch what's going on because I can listen to them while I'm driving hands-free I can listen to them while I'm doing dishes or doing chores around the house and it's still helping me um, with my knowledge and keeping me up to date so I'm just going to read over this article um, so that there is a uh, um, an audible version and I just enjoy it so much because it was it, it actually didn't put flat earthers in a bad light and it was very well done well written and detailed um, and IPS was quoted very well so I'm gonna go down through here and read this 
and I hope you guys enjoy. I'm apologizing now because I'm reading it off of a little Samsung tablet. It's like a glorified larger cell phone. And you're going to see the reflection in, off my glasses. So sorry. Anyway, so again, this is from the Philly Voice. And the article is called, They Think the World is Flat and Challenge You to Prove Them Wrong. It is written by Brian Hickey, part of the Philly Voice staff. <clears throat> Tim Osman, 36, sells artwork online and helms a small publishing operation in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I want to comment on that immediately because a lot of people hear the name Tim Osman and they think, well, at least those of you in the know, and that I've been into conspiracy theories for a while. The name Tim Osman, with an O-S-M-A-N, was apparently the CIA name for Osama bin Laden. But those of us that have been in the YouTube um, content channel, you know, uh, uh, what do I want to say, atmosphere here for a while, understand that there is a um, well-known troll named Tim Osman, with an S. And from what I've heard and what I believe that IPS's Tim Osman changed, put his name to Tim Osman, kind of like a mockery to the troll. Um, and I also think that it has something to do with the Wizard of Oz because it would be an o OZ man, but um, I'd have to look into that a little bit better. But he is not trying to impersonate Osama bin Laden as a CIA agent, it has to do with a certain troll in the YouTube community, specifically the Flat Earth YouTube community. So I wanted to make that clear right now. Anyway, moving on. He also thinks the world is flat, but would happily accept proof to the contrary should you be able to provide it, which he doesn't think you can. For the past week, he and his like-minded Infinite Plane Society brethren have challenged Philadelphia motorists and passengers to consider what many armed with millennia perceived evidence right off as a fringe conspiracy theory. They're behind an electronic billboard along I-76 in Philadelphia's Gray's Ferry neighborhood with a simple three-word message that doubles as a polite request, Research Flat Earth. Looking to raise awareness on the Flat Earth, read the pitch on the Flat Earth Billboard Philly Airport GoFundMe mission that raised the requisite $900 within 16 days in late May. The support is most appreciated. Thanks to that money, the group's message has been played about seven miles from Philadelphia International Airport nearly 10,000 times since early last week. To hear Osman tell it, as I did over the course of a couple of rather interesting phone interviews in recent days, the goal was simply to get people to think about an issue that they may have written off as lunacy, but one that he considers legitimate. And it started with the intentional placement of their cohort's first such billboard. People are getting off airplanes at high altitudes seeing a perfectly flat horizon, he said. If there's any time to get them thinking about it, that's the time. What does it mean when you're at 5,000 feet altitude but seeing no discernible curve? In other words, if air passengers see no evidence of the Earth being anything but flat from the skies, why not nudge them to consider the possibility that the planet is actually flat? To be sure, the Flat Earther community is a fractured one, and Osman himself is a lightning rod of a figure therein. Some look at it through a Christian biblical literalist lens, while others follow a New Age doctrine or ponder it from a scientific perspective. Each camp, he said, has its own leader, and the intercamp sniping gets intense, as it is quite evident on YouTube. The sniping, it often results in accusations that people are government shills or plants, doesn't derail Osman from breaking down his take on the Flat Earth issue. He told me that he went down a Flat Earth wormhole after watching YouTube videos about media hoaxes and false flag instances. I've always been suspicious of media and how it controls our minds. He said, noting that he believes the powers that be stage deaths to spark anti-gun votes amongst politicians. Knowing this, why should we trust the map as well? This is a deception on a big scale. They're hiding land and resources. The elite write our history, and they've all colluded to hide land from the masses for years. In convincing the masses that the world is round, the elites are hoarding land to protect their status and power, as they've done dating back to the time of the ancient Egyptians, he said. 
He believes Antarctica is the key to the whole equation. Antarctica isn't a continent, but a cold region outside the range of our small local sun. And we don't know what's there, he posited. Beyond what we think of as Antarctica could be other wor worlds. What came out of the Flat Earth video wormhole was me asking myself, what do I really know versus what I've been told was real, he continued, noting that he doesn't believe there are satellites in space because the space agencies aren't worthy of our trust. In declaring that NASA imagery is fake, Ozman told me he doesn't believe man ever landed on the moon. He questioned why no legitimate photos, only CGI composites of a round Earth exist. The crowning achievement for the movement was getting a flat Earth take on the public record at an Albuquerque City Council meeting in April. It centered on bubbles in space, serving as proof that spacewalks were filmed in a soundstage and the biggest hoax since global warming. And I will share that in the description as well. We can back these claims, he said, noting that one flat earther of a couple years by the name of Mad Mike Hughes plans to send a rocket of six, 62 miles up. We may invest money into Mike so he can put a flat earth message on the rocket, which will either prove or disprove flat earth for good. The city council hearing brought about some momentum that led to the Philadelphia billboard and created momentum that has people following Osman's lead in Colorado, Phoenix, Portland, Michigan, and beyond. He noted that the next Flat Earth billboard will have a four-week run in New York City where it's sure to garner additional attention. We want to show people that we really believe this is worth investigating, so get all out of the YouTube echo chambers. Let's make the debate public and put some money where our mouths are. We will extend it if the slot is open, and we're waiting a message from the sign company. While Osman launched into a lengthy explanation of why he believes the world is flat, he said the billboard intentionally didn't make that claim. Rather, it was just to get people looking into the possibility. He believes he's right, but invites anybody to provide evidence that he isn't. All we're saying is research it. If you can debunk it, please do. And the sooner the better, he said. We're not going to be mad. We invite the discussion, but we're not going to go away until that happens.